Hello everybody, welcome back to We Talk Football. I'm your host Robert and as usual, we're joined by Robbo, mate. How you doing? I'm good, mate. Glad to finally be back after a couple of weeks off of doing predictions. It's been good. Um, good to get our content back out there. Um, as you how this is properly done. No. Um, the first three things we learned after last weekend. One, Celtic have won the league. Two, um, Dundee United. Uh, actually might get out of relegation and three we blow up a TikTok after a voice note so it was a good weekend good weekend until we found out somebody was copying our content so that Aye. was a bit of a downfall but it is what it is we move on mate um, so I Robbie three ga- we've got three games we're going to discuss in general but two Aye. games and um, we'll get into them first and then we've got a real mystery again so Robbie what's the first game we're going to be discussing uh, first game will be Simon heading up to first Rangers at Ibrox well, you go, mate. I'll, let, I'll let you go first. Alright, well, I'm more uh, optimistic than most Rangers fans will give us a chance for. Um, people will look at this game and probably go, well, someone don't really have a chance, to be honest with you. It'll be Rangers, just a comfortable win, but based on what I've seen, I feel from, I hope Connor Goldson's out of that team, because if Connor Goldson's out, then we have every chance in the world, quite exactly. And I think we have every chance in the world anyway. I think we're playing well. Picking up a massive win at Dinkastle last week. Um, I don't know, I just have a feeling that we can go and get a result. I think it's a game that before we plotted when they gave ourselves a chance, but this late in the season when we need the points and Rangers don't really need the points, it's more, I think it falls more into our favour. I wouldn't say Rangers don't need the points uh, because you know, I mean, the title's not legally over yet. Aye. Um, now, and everyone else in mind that is, I've said to you, it's not until the t- it's been confirmed. It never is. Celtic could lose on Sunday. Celtic could lose at Ibrox. That brings it down to six points. Like it's still poss- it's still mathematically possible for Rangers. Now, I'm not saying Celtic will do that, but I'm just saying, so don't make the league off yet. Now, for St Mirren, everything's to play for now. They can get European football next year. Not that you'll get either a Welsh or Irish team, because that's your luck. Um, but you know what? I've got a weird feeling St Mirren are going to sneak it and I'm going to say a 2-1 St Mirren I'm going to go 1-0 St Mirren because I just think think Tab will get his penalty No I just think Rangers heads will drop to be honest I don't But what we need to remember is they're coming out of an old firm where they've just lost so that could be a big hit like Aye Tomorrow could or not tomorrow because we're on Thursday Saturday could be interesting because you could have either a bad form Rangers team or a team that wants to go out and go for fun. I genuinely think if I think it all comes maybe not all comes to it, but a big factor is if Connor Goldson's in that defence because I could I, I, I bet you one of the defenders will make a mistake if the same ones play again. So you're saying one 0 I'm saying two one. Both go missing. It's gonna be be, it's gonna be scenes when this ends up like four 0 Rangers. Um, but they are logo. Okay. Then, we do keep an eye on our predictions, guys. Don't worry, we have got a tracker. Nice. So, Robbie, next game, what is it? Uh, next game will be the Sunday fixture as Celtic are away to Kilmarnock. Now, I didn't remember watching the first leg, well, I say first leg, the first game against Kilmarnock this season. I was away in my honeymoon in Santorini. Um, I was actually sat with Ajax fans, believe it or not, and they were actually more focused on our game really? because we were just the, 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 it's the way I'm just playing. It's got everyone intrigued. Now, if I was Ange, I would be starting Akhavanovic on Sunday and resting my head I'd be resting Aaron Moy and giving a whack at another chance to start because they played great against Hearts. I would be playing Johnson. I'd be playing Taylor. I'd be playing Carl Starfelt and Carl Vickers, definitely. I'd give Benji Seagrest a chance in goals. I'd be changing it up a little bit because they're going to go, I guess they played the last two times we played them, and they're going to just sit back with 10 men behind the ball. It's the way teams always play against Celtic, I guess. Um... I say, do you know the only team I've noticed that didn't do it was yours. Because you had a chance. <laughs> up to the third goal, <laughs> you had a chance. <laughs> That's the thing, right? Let's see playing the old firm. But the teams need to learn that if you, if you get into their faces, they don't like it. Oh, aye. That if you sit back, they'll find their way around. Teams sit back 
and that's you seen it against Hibs a few weeks ago Celtic played them that's why even though you can make compromises about the Celtic Simon game and Paisley at the start like Genuinely, like, I know you can say about the teams and stuff, but you've seen it, we get in their faces. He's done it as well when we last came to his... Aye. Is he Oh, um, the Smizer. Aye, the Smizer. He's taught me now, the Smizer. I know. Um, yeah, I know, so, but, but we're, we're shown that if you get in their faces, they struggle, but just not enough teams do it, I guess. Aye, so I'd line up different. I wouldn't have the same line-up as old firm I'd have. I'd have all starting. I'd have Jota on that left, because he suits the left. Hacks on the right. I'd be playing McGregor, Iwata, and Turnbull. So I would. I'd, O'Reilly is a great player as a sub. Uh-huh. He, he, starting, he's not there. Moy's clearly not ready. I'd keep Moy out of the team or as a sub until the semis. Same with Rio. I wouldn't start the two of them until the semi finals. Back four doesn't change. As much as I love Burnaby, I'd say he's more a winger than what he is a left back. Aye. No, I cannot hear you. Wait, what? No, I can hear you now. There we go. Right there, I'll turn up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Um, aye. You seen the goal? Me and you watched the goal that he scored. Aye. As a winger's goal, that's not a... Or a left wing back. He's not a left back. No, no. Um, and then, yeah, to, uh, Alistair Johnson for that old firm display, by the way, it was really good. Oh, Alistair Johnson's just different class. He's Canadian, top tier, I love he, him. I will say, but his smile gives me the fear sometimes. Um, can we also give a big round of applause to Rio Hitati and Yota for making the FIFA team of the week? No, the FIFA team of the season? Team of the year, team of the season? Team of the season. Team of the season, community team? Two, two players from the SPFL get in there, not one on a feather of team. They're going into my SPFL past and present, straight away. Bye. So score, prediction, Robbie, I'm going to let you go first. Prediction, 5 now Celtic. I've said 4. Because the Celtic will be full of confidence after that old fun result, so... Kelly are just going to get sweeped aside. Fair enough. Um, You've went 4 now. I've went 4 now, mate. So, we're going to get the wee wheel up the now. Wheel? Yes. The, the wheelie wheel time. Love the wheel. So, as you can see, we've got the Hibs Hearts Derby, the Edmund Derby, mm-hmm. Lovie St. Johnson, Motherwell Dundee United, and Ross County Aberdeen. Now, that's a derby. That's a derby. Two good derbies this weekend, man. You've kind of got that one. These two that are just meh. Realistically, I'm hoping for the Hibs Hearts because I've got a lot to talk about, but they let the wheel decide. So, right. we're going to shuffle around and then pop Come on. Oh, oh Ross County Aberdeen. Listen. The Friday night game. Now this has got so much potential. This has got so um, much to play for. This is gonna be great. Um Aberdeen obviously starting to pick up form under Barry Robson, um, which is great to see. Aberdeen are currently sitting third in the league. That we win take gives them another three point puts them fifty points. I feel like Aberdeen now the third place is to lose for them. Um, they got 50 points, half feet Hibs, and then you've got obviously the middle play Rangers. Just say this weekend we use a real. Either way, what you're realistically wanting is a Hibs heart draw. Aye, so the top six for us can be confirmed this weekend, but one or two things happening. Uh, but we, yeah. we don't even need to win, so either Hearts draw or beat Hibs. That confirms it, which would probably rather the draw. Going um, on to Aberdeen, Ross County. Aye, aye, right. Aberdeen, Ross County. Aberdeen, last five wins. They're unbeaten in five games. That's just what I'm looking at just now. Last five games unbeaten. Last five games for County, win, three losses, and then a win again. And that win was massive because they get St. Johnson, which is a rock, which is their rivals. No. Ah, uh, and ah. Uh, I'm going three now. Like, I'm going three now. Aberdeen. So you say that right, but here's my thing. Ross County need as much points as possible. They'll be wanting. They'll be the home team. They'll be wanting to, to cause that result because they need the points to get a relegation. Okay. So I'm gonna actually go two now. Ross County. Two now. I'll see. Fair enough. Now we're gonna with my mouse. I've lost my mouse. There it is. Yeah. 
Um, so we've done that one. Now we're on to the championship, Robbie. Now, this, there's some cracking games this weekend in the championship. We've got Queen's Park v Yaki's on Friday night. Uh-huh. Cove Rangers v Inverness Cali Thistle. Dundee v Morton. Part of Thistle v Air United. And Rafe v Abroath. Any game out there that sticks to that you would want? Uh, there's quite a lot of good games to be honest with you. I'd sort of said Dundee Martins are cracking time, to be honest. Pick that or Queen's at Aki's. Aye. Right, so we're going to again shuffle. And spin. Oh, 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 oh. Party Air. Oh. Now. Party Fourth. Party Fourth, exactly. Um, some cracking games. There's a lot of good games this weekend, man. Yeah. There's a lot of deciding games. Um, Aye. It's a 3-4. Two points separate them. Inverness now are four out of five wins. They are they threw the last game, loss, win, loss, wins. So they're not in the best of form right now. I'm going to say a two one Inverness. Oh. I'll go Wait, Inverness or the not playing party. Oh party. So two one party. <laughs> I was gonna say um I'll go based off I just Partick doing really well last weekend. Uh, I seen the beat, uh, blue. <laughs> uh, no. I seen the beat uh, Queens what was it four in the end? And it's come for the beat Queens Park. Uh, I'll go a three 0 Partick. And I know we're doing Scottish predictions, but it's just been confirmed Leroy's. Wait, what 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 did you say? The audio Scott like audio. What has happened? Oh. Wait there. Yeah. There we go. Two settings. There we go. Don't know what's going on. Maybe the wire. I'll have a look at it. Um, Sadio Mane has been um, suspended by Bayern Munich. Oh, and there's him and Sane. Following that bus stop when we. Aye, him and Sane. So. Aye, so we're both going for Thistle. Now, League One. Uh-huh. Um, we've got it up. There we go. Yes. So we've got Clyde v Edinburgh. I'm Fenland v Queen of the South, Falkirk v Airdrie, Kilty v Alawa, Montrose v Peterhead. Now, there's one game that sticks out in my mind that was a really good game. Falkirk v Airdrie. I was a bit of say Falkirk versus no. as well. Now, that's a very good game that could end either way. Obviously, we know the Fenland won that league. The Fenland have won that league easy. Right. So, Fenland actually go to Airdrie next week. Next Saturday. It's mathematically confirmed that Dunfermline have won that league, isn't it? Is it not? Not yet. Not yet. As of Saturday, it will be. Uh. So, let it spin the wheel. Right. Good one, of us. Oh my god. Montrose versus Peter Head. Now, what have you got for us here, Robbie? What, what is, what's the table looking like? Well, Montrose are seventh and Peterhead are rock bottom. There are. Uh, an enemy. There is a 37 point gap, I think. A 37 point gap? No, a 27 point gap. Between, between Peterhead and Montrose? Yes. Surely not! That is a 27 point gap between Peterhead and Montrose. If I've done the math right. Right, so I'm saying uh, 2 0 Montrose. <laughs> Aye, I'll go 1 0 Montrose. I mean, uh, what if. Uh, what Just. If, uh, like, what is that gap about? Like, it goes for 15, 17. Mate, like, you, look, you look at Clyde and Peterhead. And then just kill if basically kill if confirmed just staying up. Aye. That's how that goes. So we'll move on because that's coming down. That's a two horse race at the bottom as Kevin Bridges says. Now. Now your league. League two. I'll be the now picked up form at the weekend there. Really good win over Elgin City. Elgin midweek got a draw, which means Elgin, Albion are, bo- are a point at the bottom. Now, Albion are away to Annan Athletic, who are third in the league. 
And Elgin are at 4-4. Four, four. Elgin post 4-4 four, four, who are 4, so it could be a very good weekend. Now, we do have the wheel. We've got to spin it. I just want to that's bring it in to how close this league is. If they're the games that stick out of you as probably being the best games. Um, I'm just trying to look at the like, tables here. I'd say the Anne and the Albion, because Anne can kind of just secure that playoff place, I, I feel. Albion sort of need to win. Yeah. But, wait and see. You ready? So I'm going to shuffle again. And spin. Oh, Stenny Sterling. Sterling top of the table, I'm led to believe. Yep, and Stenny are fifth. Okay, so Stenny got a win here that brings him right up to fucking third place. Yep. Stenny are now a. Uh, so in my last five star, I'll be in a one, three, and drawn two. Will Stenny have drawn three, one, one, lost one? Um, can't see Stenny losing. No. I can see them like, getting automatic promotion. And how much it fucking kills me, it honestly does. Oh, you never told what your score was for the last game, baby? Did I not? I thought I said. I don't know, say 1-0. Did you say 1-0 Montrose? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Um. I'm gonna say 3-0 Montrose, no wait, there's 2 I'm so confused. What have I done this wrong? There we go. It's... My head's just gone. There we go. Aye, so it's Sterling. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying Sterling, I'm gonna take this an easy 3-1. I'll go 2-0 Sterling. Mm, which is a good weekend. I think it's just, by the way, I'm excited to see how the tables look after. I'll make there's some cracking games um, all over Scotland this weekend, like the Edinburgh Derby, which I think is going to be a belter. Oh, no. It's a shame it's not a telly. I know. It really is. But this is Hibs. And I know we've got Hibs people that watch and Hibs fans oh, listening to your club to shambles. So they're getting bringing the sky in and you're selling it for paper view money, it's just a joke. Can we also just Nobody's going to buy it. No, no. Uh, can we also just talk about the sacking of Robbie Nielsen last weekend? Big shocker. That Big is... shocker. Uh, I don't know who's going to replace him. I was surprised him. at that. Uh, I don't know who's going to replace him. There was Stephen A. Smith in just now, uh, which I think is a fucking hilarious cover, right yeah. enough. But they're trying to follow down the route of Aberdeen. <laughs> Um, it's hard to say who's going to replace him now. I wonder if or the check him. Ah, uh, that's how I keep an who's the next manager. I don't know why not been there. Robinson will be yeah, there somewhere Robinson. because that's all that's been going on a bit. It, it was getting looked at. You've went mute mode again. I went mute mode again? Ah, uh, you're, you're no mute mode anymore. I don't know what's wrong with this night. So, I Stephen Robinson. Uh huh. Lee McCulloch. Kevin Muscat from Yokohama. So, they're trying to go down the route of Ainsworth to Coglu. No. Frank McAvoy from Harps Academy. Uh huh. Neil McFarlane from Brentford. Ian Holloway. Or Paul Lambert. Ooh. I can see Holloway. I think if anyone sticks out, it's holiday for me. I want them to, I, I don't I, see. I want something different this time. I don't just want this. I think Holloway would be a great manager. I, I, I don't want like the same old managers in Scotland, like give us something different. Like I love it if they went out and done an Ange. Like just like I done what they done. Like did they not sign a Japanese player as well? Like <laughs> no, they so Ange was a was a manager in Japan. Aye. I love them. And then I thought Kevin Musk is, he's, a, he's Australian. But the thing is, the guy's Australian, so they're just kind of copying Celtic. We're going for an Aussie manager that's in the, the, the J League. Aye, but I'd rather that than them just sign the same old manager that's been kicking about Scottish football for the ages. Very true. Also, can we discuss the amount of managers that are getting sacked in England now? Oh, it's like you lose a game, you're getting sacked left, right, and centre. I feel bad for Nielsen, but honestly, do he was such a consistent manager. He kept Hearts in the top six year in year out, apart from COVID. And that wasn't his fault. It's not like he's in a bad position either. No. Nah. Nah. I just think the run of games that have happened to them have just. It's, 
Seema Bari has done a manager comes in. There's, there, there goes Craig Gordon. There goes Xander Clark. There goes a lot of good talent. Oh, I think I'd keep Xander Clark a bit to be honest. Thank you, it's a brilliant girl. And also Robert Snodgrass has been, been told by oh. Stephen Naismith that he won't be used. Might terminate his contract. It's not got the attitude for that. You said I seen it on Saturday. His attitude reeks. You'd have been loving that one, wouldn't you? When I guess I know, I was put it that I was bouncing about man. Will you like my voice note? <laughs> Aye. Guys, if you haven't checked out the, the voice note on TikTok, go and check it out. Honestly, it's six seconds long, but somehow it went viral. Aye. The power of social media. The, the voice note, but it's too, it's too good. And guys, make sure to check out Z Game. Yeah. We are in the process of changing the code still. I have spoken with higher ups. It's just a work in progress. <laughs> but the link will be in the description. We'll ha- we will have it all set up for you to get the 10% off. Um, and also a lot Robbie, of exciting wait. content coming in the next couple of weeks as well. Obviously, yep, if you didn't amazing. see, uh, Connor had a good chat uploaded yesterday. Did it get uploaded? Uh, yeah, well, at that point, I yesterday. Aye. So that was a very good chat. I'd go and check that out. And it got confirmed today, I don't know if you've seen it on Twitter, Robbie. They're going to be working with Glasgow St. Pauli. Oh. So I'll need to fill you in later on with that. Yes. Please. Um, so I that they confirmed that with us. Um, but I, I, I've enjoyed it, mate. This is going to be a great week of football. I'm actually looking forward to it. Right. Just shit, I need to wait till Sunday to watch Celtic play, but... Things happen. That's life. Yeah, you've got the whole weekend sorted. I've got Albion, I've got Newcastle. Uh, who's in Polly playing? Let's have a look quickly before we go. I want to have some by the way, I'll tell you that. It's my fourth in the Bundesliga too. Uh, matches we have. Oh, it's next fight, he's a big one. Oh. That'll get me talk about then. Eintracht Braun. We're playing Eintracht Braun. Braunschweig this weekend, who are 15th in the league. So we, uh, it'll be a, we can bring the gap up to who's in third. And then next Friday, it's the Hamburg Derby. Hamburg has been brown white for weeks, and I can't wait to do the prediction show next week. You'll see the flip side to me. I will be buzzing at my feet for it. But guys, I've been Robbie. I've been Robbie. I've been Robbo. <laughs> and I've been Robbie. Uh, make sure to check out the game and we'll see you guys next time.